You guys ready for this? Yeah. Got a little something. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Sick. Look at the functioning drivetrain. Oh, that's bad. It actually, okay, so spin both wheels. The drive shaft spins and it actually spins the engine. Where can I, can I adjust the clutch? Yeah, <laughs> adjust the clutch, <laughs> bud. Dude, look at the dude, pistons. Look at the yeah, they move. This dude, thing. That's awesome. Ooh. Took oh, a long man. time to design and get here, and they're officially you here. Got the weights on yeah, <laughs> this is yeah. insane. Oh. Right, so yes, the buildable Leroy is available now on PleasingFront.com. Nine hundred and eighty-four pieces. These are no small project. They have a working suspension, diff, drivetrain, even the pistons move. The only thing that doesn't work is the turbo spinning. The only thing I don't like about these is we ended up listing them for two hundred dollars because we have a ton of money into getting them made and getting them here. We're not ordering that many of these, you know, the companies that sell these as a product for pretty cheap, they're ordering like 50,000 units, right? We're a much smaller company. These are made with mostly genuine Legos. They're really nice, but like I said, we had to list them for $200. So we are doing 10% off for Black Friday. You get 20 bucks off. Check out the buildable Leroy live now. And as you guys know, we're giving away this Trackhawk in $20,000 cash on thesemancrawling.com. Every $5 you spend on a t-shirt or a hat is one entry to win that track hawk and 20 grand cash. We're also doing a discount this weekend for Black Friday. So 10% off everything on cleansmanfrawling.com right now, Black Friday through Cyber Monday at midnight. And we got the giveaway going. So all these shirts down here, we got hoodies, shirts, Sam spray wax, baby wear, sunglasses, mini Leroy's posters, sun hats, all sorts of hats, beanies, and everything else you can imagine. So hit up policemanfrawling.com, get that 10% off through Cyber Monday. You know the deal, let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Policeman Frawling YouTube channel. All right, guys, as you can see, I got a day ahead of me. I got a table full of parts that are gonna stiffen up the rear end, lower this thing a little bit, and make some more power. So I'm gonna get to it, I'm gonna start time lapsing. Guys, we're here putting in work on the track hawk. Just slide that right on, new pulley. A little bit of a size difference there. All the boost. Oh, we're like that, dude. That much freedom. Dude, Holding her down, around, literally. Holding down the pulley. Now, as long as we keep George out this thing, we'll keep a belt. I know, that's my only fear is George drives it once and it has belt issues the rest of its life. <laughs> <laughs> and whoever wins it has to deal with it. We got Ty over here putting the intake back on. We did some spark plugs on this side. We gotta venture into that scary side over there. I flashed a tune on it for E85, so I'm about to get some Ignite and throw that in there just so we can tune it. We got some Ignite E85 here. This is nice because if you want to change pulleys, you can just kind of add or remove slack as needed. Yeah, it's got four locations to add for different pulley belt yeah. lengths and whatnot. And all of our AAD equipment is on and ready to rip. Oh, is it sitting on the ground now? Oh, dude, look at the fitment now. Way better lowered. Oh. You got that ghost, Cam? Get the pump gas out of it. <laughs> it pump gas in the line. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Belt's all looking good. There you just stand back here. Yeah, it's a lot lower now, dude. 
Dude, the tune seems pretty close. It seems close, yeah. I can definitely see a little bit of uh, toe maybe. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Yeah, so she's going for an alignment in the morning and then straight to the drag strip, but I don't know, it's pretty good. The idler is idling. Look how it looks like it's not spinning. It really doesn't. Because it sits so perfect. It's anodized so good. Yeah, you yeah. can't even see an imperfection on it. So now we're lower pulley, upper pulley, E85. We got the fuel pumps turned up to 16 volts, and we have a set of injectors and fresh spark plugs. And rear control arms and a disc brake. Yeah. Should be a world of a difference. Oh, yeah. I hope. Night and day. All right, well, I'm going to drive it home, get some uh, poles on the road, get a little bit of a data log going for the tuner, but everything looks pretty damn good. Just letting it warm up and we'll send out the data logs. All right, we're going to go do a little bit of data logging on this thing. Make sure it's all dialed in. Watch that pallet jack on your right. Hell yeah, she's looking good. So now with this pulley, we're gonna have the blower spinning a lot faster. So we should get even more of that freaking beautiful blower sound, like just right off the rim. <laughs> I don't want to get on it too crazy, but I want to give them enough data to do something with it so we'll go up the road. Let's we'll do an eighth mile hit. Nothing <laughs> on wide open. The nice thing about track hawks and all Mopars is they have wide bands, so they have a oxygen sensor, air fuel sensor, and that helps a ton for tuners for remote tuning. Guys, well, we gotta go to the alignment shop in the morning and then we're gonna rip this thing on the track. Oh my Lanta. That rig is looking good, brother. Oh, the old track hog, dude. What a freaking unit. Yeah, we gotta do a third gear pull. So once we get up there, we'll have to start that. Yeah. Third gear. Third gear. <laughs> oh brother oh wow. dude she's spicy i'm liking it i'm liking it dude i don't want to race the track hawk dude you, you were talking all that smack the other day yeah but you went and did all this stuff <laughs> <laughs> dang you after all that <laughs> track hawk with the tune in it got the laptop out I made several hits for the tuner and they're happy now and I'm gonna watch because I've got an air fuel ratio gauge on here yeah the old I can actually watch make sure she's what I want to see while I'm going down track too and then I'm data logging this give them you know so look. full pull here yeah, unless you see pull. something crazy full pull unless I see something I don't like oh brother the giveaway track hawk about to be going down, brother. All right, guys, I'm also not using launch control. Just gonna drive off the line. See if we got a 10 second ripper here. Let's see how much faster she is on the first tune up. need to crank it first pull complete didn't get to the eighth mile did not wheel hop or anything just hooked brother real solid start did you hear it kind of like miss shift here yeah so i just lifted she was looking rowdy coming out of the hole dude yeah no wheel hop no nothing. i know locked in. dial so i'll send that log off and then we'll try it again in a minute hey it's brother a crucial step 
What's that? You missed a crucial step. Crucial step. What's that? Transmission tune. Oh, okay. That explains why she didn't want to shift. That explains it. <laughs> so that's going on. New tune's going on. Everything looks good. All right. Fresh tune up with the transmission tune. Here we go. Let's see what this baby will do. second car 1085 at 124 mile an hour dude yeah it left soft too i think it could take more yeah it had a little hiccup on 60 foot 691 at 100 mile an hour to the eighth 1085 at 124. that's <sighs> dialed man red things like nice. 50 100 pounds or 50 200 pounds Much more better on that one. <laughs> you got to do a 10 second G, 10 dude. 10 second G. 1090? 1085. 1085. Let's go. Dude, that was easy. Yeah, too easy. These Just things are it out. These things aren't too bad to mod. No. Hell yeah. Barely did anything to it. I'm ready for that Silverado, brother. You want <laughs> oh, you a are? Roll or a dig? I mean, I don't know. Neither really, but <laughs> can't be scared now. Talking that smack. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. What do we got going here? Belt check? Belt check. I'm gonna throw a little ice in there. You know, I need everything I can so get. So you've had your belt dialed in now. Yeah, she's been pretty dialed, man. I mean look at it. She still looks like she's, she's taking got a about hundred poles on her. Yeah. Been really abusing it lately. Yeah, I love it. I love it. But can you keep up with the hawk, brother? I don't know. That's gonna be our that's a big ask. I don't know. I don't we'll know. see. We'll, we'll see. see. I think they'll be pretty close. I mean, you're running 20 pounds of boost, right? I think it's making like 17. 17? So we're similar in boost. You probably are too, yeah. Yeah, I think he said 17 is what it made. You got all wheel drive, though. All right, guys. So the Belt Shredder 9000 is on a set of radials. And here we go. Was this over? <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. So we're street racing. We're doing this on the asphalt. He's done. You guys want to feel a new and improved launch? Yeah. Feel the spicy launch. <laughs> That's oh different. My yeah. God. That is way different. And the transmission tune, sick. Holy crap. Dude, that's... Dude, it went it goes through the one two shift like it should now, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't do that weird stutter thing. Yeah. That that's is... a lot faster. <laughs> a whole new car. Yeah, pretty bad to the bone Uber. The, the dream team back in the Sierra. We're back, baby. The old work truck. And now we're up against something with a little more horsepower. Yeah. But we got more horsepower, too. Well, the last time he got called out, yeah, what we, happened? Well, we hit him with we the deuces. had a real slippy belt situation, but we did win. We hit him with the deuces. We, we did. Simultaneous. See you later, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> but this now time, he's calling you out with the track on. Yeah. We do got a little better tire on here, but... Uh, He's got all-wheel drive. Yeah, and a good tire. Yeah, roll race first. That way. Yeah, you're done. You're done. So let's hit it at Zach. And lift that tie. That work? Yeah. All right. Come <laughs> on. 
<laughs> All right, let me get her fired back up. Are you ready? Uh, let me change my GoPro angle. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. Steal the hit. bit out here it was a wrap from there he, he said he beat the track dog in a street race this is as close as we can get to a street race yeah i mean he spun on a semi prep surface here pretty sure i did a wheelie i was <laughs> like hell yeah all right jump in hey dude, nice truck. <laughs> dude uh, the track dog is sick it you is can't take it away from it that thing i mean this thing ain't no slouch it just went a 1080 on the first decent tune-up, it's gonna get a couple more tune-ups. She gets down. It is a rowdy automobile. Holy mountains, dude! <laughs> this thing just torn steered on you. <laughs> it's just spun all four on oh, the radial, oh, baby. Yeah. I love this thing because it's just instant power always. Mm -hmm. Don't have to screw around with no lag. When you floor it, it drifts, and it has so much gear ratio. It's crazy. Trans tune made a world of difference. You don't Hell even so need a chance breaking this thing, dude. No, you really don't. <laughs> I didn't have my racing headlight in. Let's run it back. <laughs> <laughs> Your special headlight for drag dude, racing? If I had my headlight on the roller, you'd have been done. Oh. No shot. You're crazy. Dude, I was catching you on the roll. No, you were yeah, not. Dude, watch the video. No way. What you mean? Only thing you were catching is a buzz. <laughs> you dude, I don't be. have a 10 second truck. That's what I'm thinking right now. Yeah, if you can do a 1560 I mean, foot. I didn't no, even, think about the fact though, I didn't even load it on the converter. I bet this thing will go 140 easily, maybe yeah. a high 130. For sure. Plus, I got a fresh tune right here. Yeah, that's what we were just saying on the video. Like, that was the first tune up with 1080. <laughs> Pretty fired up about these mods, guys. We obviously have some time to refine it. We got to look at the springs too and make sure we don't have those backwards because you ride a little higher in the front than she's supposed to with these springs but we'll get back to the shop right now and take a look that's it for now thanks for watching do it for dale wolf freaking see you later